Black Friday is a colloquial term for the Friday following Thanksgiving in the United States. It traditionally marks the start of the Christmas shopping season in the United States. Many stores offer highly promoted sales at discounted prices and often open early, sometimes as early as midnight or even on Thanksgiving. Some stores sales continue to Monday or for a week. Occurring on the fourth Friday in November unless November 1st is a Friday, Black Friday has routinely been the busiest shopping day of the year in the United States, since 2005. Chapter 1, Origin of the Term Black Friday For centuries, the adjective black has been applied to days upon which calamities occurred. Many events have been described as Black Friday, although the most significant such event in American history was the Panic of 1869, which occurred when financiers Jay Gould and James Fisk took advantage of their connections with the Grant administration in an attempt to corner the gold market. When President Grant learned of this manipulation, he ordered the Treasury to release a large supply of gold, which halted the run and caused prices to drop by 18%. Fortunes were made and lost in a single day, and the President's own brother-in-law, Abel Corbin, was ruined. The earliest known use of Black Friday to refer to the day after Thanksgiving occurred in the journal, Factory Management and Maintenance, for November 1951, and again in 1952. Here it referred to the practice of workers calling in sick on the day after Thanksgiving, in order to have a four-day weekend. However, this use does not appear to have caught on. Around the same time, the terms Black Friday and Black Saturday came to be used by the police in Philadelphia and Rochester to describe the crowds and traffic congestion accompanying the start of the Christmas shopping season. In 1961, the city and merchants of Philadelphia attempted to improve conditions, and a public relations expert recommended rebranding the day's Big Friday and Big Saturday, but these terms were quickly forgotten. Additional primitive use of the phrase Black Friday originated in Philadelphia, dating back to 1961, where it was used by police to describe the heavy pedestrian and vehicular traffic that would occur on the day after Thanksgiving. The use of the phrase spread slowly. First appearing in the New York Times on November 29, 1975, in which it still refers specifically to the busiest shopping and traffic day of the year in Philadelphia. Although it soon became more widespread, the Philadelphia Inquirer reported in 1985 that retailers in Cincinnati and Los Angeles were still unaware of the term dot as the phrase gained national attention in the early 1980s, merchants objecting to the use of a derisive term to refer to one of the most important shopping days of the year suggested an alternative derivation, that retailers traditionally operated at a financial loss for most of the year and made their profit during the holiday season beginning on the day after Thanksgiving. When this was recorded in the financial records, once common accounting practices would use red ink to show negative amounts and black ink to show positive amounts. Black Friday, under this theory, is the beginning of the period when retailers would no longer be in the red, instead of taking in the year's profits. The earliest known published reference to this explanation occurs in the Philadelphia Inquirer for November 28, 1981. Since the early 21st century, there have been attempts by US based retailers to introduce a retail Black Friday to other countries around the world. Retailers outside the US have attempted to promote the day to remain competitive with US based online retailers. In more recent decades, Global retailers have adopted the term and date to market their own holiday sales. Chapter 2 History The day after Thanksgiving has been regarded as the beginning of the United States Christmas shopping season since 1952. The practice may be linked with the idea of Santa Claus parades. Parades celebrating Thanksgiving often include an appearance by Santa at the end of the parade with the idea that Santa has arrived or Santa is just around the corner because Christmas is always the next major Christian holiday following Thanksgiving. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, many Santa or Thanksgiving parades were sponsored by department stores. These include the continuing Toronto Santa Claus Parade in Canada since 1905, originally sponsored by Eaton's, and Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade held in Manhattan, New York City since 1924, sponsored by Macy's. 
department stores would use the parades to launch a big advertising push. Eventually, it became an unwritten rule that no store would try doing Christmas advertising before the parade was over. Therefore, the day after Thanksgiving became the day when the shopping season officially started. Thanksgiving's relationship to Christmas shopping led to controversy in the 1930s. Retail stores would have liked to have a longer shopping season, but no store wanted to break with tradition, and be the one to start advertising before Thanksgiving. For this reason, in 1939, President Franklin D. Roosevelt issued a presidential proclamation proclaiming Thanksgiving to be the fourth Thursday in November rather than the last Thursday, meaning in some years one week earlier, in order to lengthen the Christmas shopping season. Most people adopted the president's change, which was later reinforced by an act of Congress, but many continued to celebrate Thanksgiving on the traditional date. Some started referring to the new date as Franksgiving. In 2015, Amazon.com was the first to offer Black Friday in July deals on what they call Prime Day, promising better deals than on Black Friday. Amazon repeated the practice in 2016 and 2017, and other companies began offering similar deals. Analyst Marshall Cohen of the NPD Group claimed in 2020 that Black Friday is declining in favor of online shopping, and that the coronavirus pandemic has accelerated this process. The pandemic also resulted in holiday deals being offered over a longer period of time, even as early as October. Fewer people shopped in person on Black Friday 2020, and most business took place online. Market research company Numerator said sellers of clothing, tools and other items considered non-essential during lockdowns were not promoted as heavily because lower production meant less available to sell. Adobe Analytics reported that online sales reached $9 billion in 2020, 22% more than the previous year. Foot traffic to stores fell 48% in 2020 from last year, according to Retail Next, while Sensomatic Solutions reported a 52% decrease. Chapter 2 Section 1 – Black Thursday For many years, retailers pushed opening times on Black Friday earlier and earlier, eventually reaching midnight, before opening on the evening of Thanksgiving. In 2009, Kmart opened at 7 p.m. on Thanksgiving in order to allow shoppers to avoid Black Friday traffic and return home in time for dinner with their families. Two years later, a number of retailers began opening at 8 p.m. or 9 p.m., on what became derisively known as Black Thursday. In subsequent years, other stores have followed this trend, opening earlier and earlier on Thanksgiving, or remaining open all day, beginning in the early morning hours. Some retail and media sources have used the terms Grey Thursday or Brown Thursday instead. The 2014 Black Thursday sales were generally a failure, as overall sales for the holiday weekend fell 11% compared to the previous year despite heavy traffic at the stores on Thanksgiving night. In response, a number of retailers decided to go back to closing on Thanksgiving for 2015, and Walmart, although it is holding firm opening on the holiday and holding its sale, also pledged to offer the same deals online for those who wished to stay home. Retailers have received pushback from some consumers over opening on Thanksgiving Day. Shopper opposition to stores opening on Thursday includes the perceived over commercialization of Thanksgiving, retail workers not being able to spend time with their loved ones on the holiday, and Thursday doorbuster sales forcing consumers to sacrifice enjoying Thanksgiving evening with their families in order to avoid missing out on highly sought after items which might not be available again prior to Christmas. Most retailers abandoned efforts to hold doorbuster sales on Thanksgiving in 2020. Large crowds have been forbidden under most circumstances, since March due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, major retailers such as Walmart and Target had already reduced their hours and dropped 24-7 operations in response to the pandemic, and several retailers known for opening on the holiday have rapidly declined. According to Adobe Analytics, online shopping set a record on Thanksgiving 2020 with $5.1 billion in total spending. 21.5% higher than in 2019. Most major retailers again closed on Thanksgiving in 2021, with Target stating that its decision would be permanent, 
The small minority of retail chains remaining open on the holiday that year were limited mainly to pharmacies, dollar stores and grocery stores, retail categories that traditionally do not hold doorbusters. Chapter 3, Black Friday Around the World Chapter 3 Section 1, United States Black Friday is not an official holiday in the United States, but California and some other states observe the day after Thanksgiving as a holiday for state government employees. It is sometimes observed in lieu of another federal holiday, such as Columbus Day. Many non-retail employees and schools have both Thanksgiving and the following Friday off. Along with the following regular weekend, this makes Black Friday weekend a four-day weekend, which is said to increase the number of potential shoppers. The South Park neighborhood of Charlotte, North Carolina, is the most trafficked area of the United States on Black Friday. Black Friday is a shopping day for a combination of reasons. As the first day after the last major holiday before Christmas, it marks the unofficial beginning of the Christmas shopping season. Additionally, many employers give their employees the day off as part of the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. In order to take advantage of this, Virtually all retailers in the country, big and small, offer various sales including limited amounts of doorbuster items to entice traffic. For many years, it was common for retailers to open at 6 a.m., but in the late 2000s many opened at 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. The early 2010s have seen retailers extend beyond normal hours in order to maintain an edge or to simply keep up with the competition. In 2010, Toys R Us began their Black Friday sales at 10 p.m. on Thanksgiving and further upped the ante by offering free boxes of Crayola crayons and coloring books for as long as supplies lasted. Other retailers, like Sears, Express, MK, Victoria's Secret, Zoomies, Tilly's, American Eagle Outfitters, Nike, Jordan, Puma, Aeropostal, and Kmart, began Black Friday sales early Thanksgiving morning and ran them through as late as 11 p.m. Friday evening. Forever 21 went in the opposite direction, opening at normal hours on Friday, and running late sales until 2 a.m. Saturday morning. In 2011, when several retailers opened at midnight for the first time. In 2012, Walmart and several other retailers announced that they would open most of their stores at 8 p.m. on Thanksgiving prompting calls for a walkout among some workers. In 2014, stores such as J.C. Penney, Best Buy, and Radio Shack opened at 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving while stores such as Target, Walmart, Velk, and Sears opened at 7 p.m. on Thanksgiving. Three states, Rhode Island, Maine, and Massachusetts, prohibit large supermarkets, big box stores, and department stores from opening on Thanksgiving, in what has been referred to as a legacy of blue laws. A bill to allow stores to open on Thanksgiving was the subject of a public hearing on July 8, 2017. Historically, it was common for Black Friday sales to extend throughout the following weekend. However, this practice has largely disappeared in recent years, perhaps because of an effort by retailers to create a greater sense of urgency. The news media usually give heavy play to reports of Black Friday shopping and their implications for the commercial success of the Christmas shopping season, but the relationship between Black Friday sales and retail sales for the full holiday season is quite weak and may even be negative. In 2014, spending volume on Black Friday fell for the first time since the 2008 recession. $50.9 billion was spent during the four day Black Friday weekend down 11% from the previous year. However, the U.S. economy was not in a recession. Christmas creep has been cited as a factor in the diminishing importance of Black Friday, as many retailers now spread out their promotions over the entire months of November and December rather than concentrate them on a single shopping day, or weekend. On April 23, 2014, Black Friday joined a growing list of ICANN top-level domains. In 2015, Neil Stern of Macmillan Doolittle said, Black Friday is quickly losing its meaning on many fronts, because many stores opened on Thanksgiving, and a lot of sales started even earlier than that. Online shopping also made the day less important. 
A Gallup poll in 2012 has shown that only 18% of American adults planned to shop during Black Friday. Chapter 3 Section 2, Canada The large population centres on Lake Ontario and the Lower Mainland in Canada have always attracted cross-border shopping into the United States, and as Black Friday became more popular in the U.S., Canadians often flocked over the border because of their lower prices and a stronger Canadian dollar. After 2001, many were traveling for the deals across the border. Starting in 2008 and 2009, due to the parity of the Canadian dollar compared with the American dollar, several major Canadian retailers ran Black Friday deals of their own to discourage shoppers from leaving Canada. The year 2012 saw the biggest Black Friday to date in Canada, as Canadian retailers embraced it in an attempt to keep shoppers from traveling across the border. Before the advent of Black Friday in Canada, the most comparable holiday was Boxing Day in terms of retailer impact and consumerism. Black Fridays in the U.S. seem to provide deeper or more extreme price cuts than Canadian retailers, even for the same international retailer. Chapter 3 Section 3, United Kingdom In the United Kingdom, the term Black Friday originated within the police and NHS to refer to the Friday before Christmas. It is the day when emergency services activate contingency plans to cope with the increase in workload due to many people going out drinking on the last Friday before Christmas. Contingencies can include setting up mobile field hospitals near city center night spots. The term has then been adopted outside those services to refer to the evening and night of the Friday immediately before Christmas, and would now be considered a mainstream term and not simply as jargon of the emergency services. Traditionally, Boxing Day had been considered the biggest shopping day of the year in the UK. In the 2010s, several American-owned retailers such as Amazon UK and the Walmart-owned chain Asda, began to hold US-style Black Friday promotions. In 2014, more British retailers began to adopt the concept, including Argos, John Lewis, and Ferry. That year, Police forces were called to shops across Britain to deal with crowd control issues, assaults, threatening customers, and traffic issues. In response to incidents at branches of Tesco, Greater Manchester Police's Deputy Chief Constable Ian Hopkins said shoppers had behaved in an appalling fashion, and criticised shops for not making adequate security arrangements to ensure the safety of customers. Following these incidents, some retailers began to discontinue or heavily modify their promotions, with Asda stating that it would not hold all of its sales across a single day. In 2016, total spending on online retail sites on Black Friday was £1.23 billion, a 2.2% year over year increase over 2015. In 2017, UK retail sales in November grew faster than in December for the first time. In Welsh, Black Friday, is known as Dydd Gwena y Guario Guairian. Chapter 3 Section 4, Mexico In Mexico, Black Friday was the inspiration for the government and retailing industry to create an annual weekend of discounts and extended credit terms, El Buen Fin, meaning the good weekend in Spanish. El Buen Fin has been in existence since 2011, and takes place on November in the weekend prior to the Monday in which the Mexican Revolution holiday is pushed from its original date of November 20, as a result of the measure taken by the government of pushing certain holidays to the Monday of their week in order to avoid the workers and students to make a larger weekend. On this weekend, major retailers extend their store hours and offer special promotions, including extended credit terms and price promotions. Chapter 3 Section 5 Romania. The concept was imported in Romania by Imag and Flanco in 2011, and became bigger each year. The two reported the biggest Black Friday sales in 2014. Imag sold products worth some 37 million euros while Flanco's sales totaled 22 million euros. Hundreds of retailers announced their participation in the 2015 campaign. In 2015, 11 million Romanians say they have heard about Black Friday which is 73% of the 15 million people target segment. 6.7 million plan on buying something on biggest shopping event of the year in Romania. In Romania, 
Black Friday is one week before the US Black Friday. Chapter 3 Section 6 India The traditional holiday shopping season in India has typically been aligned around a period of major festivals such as Diwali. Seeking to emulate US-style shopping events such as Black Friday, online retailers adopted the practice of holding multi-day promotions during this festive period, such as Amazon's Great Indian Festival and Flipkart's Big Billion Days. India's Independence Day had also recently attracted similar events. Nonetheless, the concept of Black Friday has also been imported into the subcontinent via international retailers, a move that influenced some Indian retailers to also adopt the promotion. Chapter 3 Section 7, France French businesses are slowly introducing the Black Friday custom into the market. Discounts of up to 85% were given by retailing giants such as Apple and Amazon in 2014. French electronics retailers such as Finoc and Ocken advertised deals online, while Darty also took part in this once-a-year monster sale. Retailers favored the very American term Black Friday to Vendre de Noir in their advertisements. In 2016, because of the terror attacks in Paris in November the year before, some retailers used the name Jure Double XL instead of Black Friday. An alternative was brought up by some online businesses in 2018, called French Days, which goal is to replicate Black Friday during spring season. On November 20, 2020, the French government finalized an agreement with e-commerce businesses like Amazon and supermarket chains to postpone Black Friday promotions by a week. Discounted shopping promotions were to begin on December 4 instead, after physical stores shuttered during the COVID-19 pandemic were allowed to reopen. Chapter 3 Section 8, Germany In Germany, Black Friday retailer advertisements refer to Black Week and Black Shopping in English with sales lasting an entire week. During this sales period, stores keep their normal working hours. Although goods are offered at reduced prices, the prices are not cut significantly more than normal weekly price reductions. Apple was the first company to run a special Black Friday campaign for the German market in 2006. Apple never used the name Black Friday in Germany, but promotes only a one-day shopping event. In the first years, mostly internet retailers have used the event as an occasion to attract new customers with discounts but bricks-and-mortar stores have already begun to adapt the shopping event. For the first time ever, German customers spent more than 1 billion euros during the Black Friday weekend in 2016, according to a Center for Retail Research study, German customers spend around 1.3 billion euros during the four days from Black Friday to Cyber Monday 2016. In Germany the term Black Friday was registered as a wordmark in December 2013. The owner is Super Union Holdings Limited, a Chinese company. The trademark rights were largely revoked by the German Federal Patent Court and the German Federal Court of Justice. The trademark protection has thus essentially lapsed. Chapter 3 Section 9, Switzerland In 2015, Swiss retailer Manor was the first to launch a special Black Friday promotion. The year after, most Swiss retailers launched special offers during the Black Friday week. It is estimated that customers sent around 400 million Swiss francs on Black Friday 2018. In recent years, Singles Day got more and more important in Switzerland. This shopping day could replace Black Friday as the most important shopping day in Switzerland in 2019. Chapter 3 Section 10, Australia in Australia the term Black Friday refers not to shopping at all but to the devastating Black Friday bushfires which occurred in Victoria 1938-39. Only recently, has it been promoted as a shopping day in Australia by in-store and online retailers. In 2011, Online Shopping USA hosted an event on Twitter. Twitter users had to use the hashtag hashtag OsaBlackFriday, which allowed them to follow along and tweet their favorite deals and discounts from stores. In 2013, Apple extended its Black Friday deals to Australia. 
Purchasing online gave customers free shipping and free iTunes gift cards with every purchase. The deals were promoted on its website, reading official Apple Store, One Day Apple Shopping Event Friday November 29th. Australia Post's ShopMate parcel forwarding service allows Australian customers to purchase products with Black Friday deals from the US and get them shipped to Australia. In addition to this, numerous stores in the country run Black Friday promotions in store and online throughout the country. Chapter 3 Section 11 Other Countries Black Friday started picking up in New Zealand around 2013. In 2015, major retailers such as The Warehouse, Noel Leeming and Harvey Norman offered Black Friday sales, and by 2018 were joined by Farmers, JB Hi-Fi, Briscoes and Rebel Sport. Paymark, which processes around 75% of New Zealand's electronic transactions, recorded 219 million New Zealand dollars of transactions on Black Friday 2017, up over 10% from the previous year. In Norway, Black Friday started as a publicity stunt campaign back in 2010 to increase the sales to the shopping mall Norwegian outlet. Since the introduction, it has been promoted every year in a larger and growing market all over the country. Black Friday is known as Viernes Negro in Costa Rica. In Panama, Black Friday was first celebrated in 2012, as a move from the government to attract local tourism to the country's capital city. During its first year, it was believed to have attracted an inflow of about 35,000 regional tourists according to the government's immigration census. In South Africa, Russia, Austria, and Switzerland, Black Friday Sale is a joint sales initiative by hundreds of online vendors, among them Zalando, Disney Store, Galleria Korfhoff, and Sony. Over its first 24-hour run on November 28, 2013, more than 1.2 million people visited the site, making it the single largest online shopping event in German-speaking countries. There has been growing interest for Black Friday, in Poland as well. 2014 marked the introduction in Bolivia, Colombia, Denmark, Italy, Finland, France, Ireland, Lebanon, Nigeria, South Africa, and Sweden. For Middle East, UAE Black Friday started as White Friday campaign in 2014. In 2018, local e commerce platform, Noon.com, created Yellow Friday in the UAE and Saudi Arabia. The Yellow Friday sale is now an annual event in Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Egypt, falling around the same time as Black Friday globally. In 2015, Spain joined with some small retailers. The celebration became more famous year by year, until the big retailers grew. In the Netherlands, Black Friday was seriously introduced in 2015. Some years before, there were already a number of large and small retailers that used Black Friday, in their marketing. However, with a total of 35 participating stores, 2015 can be considered the year in which Black Friday started in the Netherlands due to more widespread support of large retailers. The popularity of Black Friday has grown rapidly in the Netherlands. The number of participating stores has increased to over 125 during the Black Friday period of 2017. For the 2018 edition, 166 shops joined the largest Black Friday platform in the Netherlands. In 2016, Black Friday was introduced in Poland, Greece, and Ukraine. Black Friday in Belgium is seriously marketed by retailers since 2016. Especially online shops have broke sales records during the last edition of Black Friday, which provides a base for further growth of popularity of Black Friday in Belgium. After 2016, Black Friday in Belgium has grown strongly. The participating shops have increased to over 70 during the Black Friday period of 2017. During Black Friday 2018, a total of 119 participating stores were measured in Belgium. In 2017, Black Friday became widely popular in Latvia. There was even a Black Week and Black Weekend sales in shopping centers. Black Friday has been increasingly adopted by stores in Brazil since 2010, although not without its share of inflated prices and other scams, especially in its earlier years, earning the nickname Black Friday 
or also black furidii, which comes from the slang word for ardor, meaning a jam or tough situation, usually involving money. It is also common to hear Brazilian people say that prices on Brazilian Black Friday are half of the double. However, currently, the term Black Friday has become so popular in the country that stores have been under closer scrutiny from consumers and cases of known scams have been reduced greatly. Chapter 4 Instances of Violence and Chaos on Black Friday Despite frequent attempts to control the crowds of shoppers, minor injuries are common among the crowds, usually as a result of being pushed or thrown to the ground in small stampedes. While most injuries remain minor, serious injuries and even deliberate violence have taken place on some Black Fridays. 2008 inches 2008 a crowd of approximately 2,000 shoppers in Valley Stream, New York, waited outside for the five o'clock opening of the local Walmart. As opening time approached, the crowd grew anxious and when the doors were opened, the crowd pushed forward, breaking the door down, and 34-year-old employee Jimaitai Damore was trampled to death. The shoppers did not appear concerned with the victim's fate, expressing refusal to halt their stampede when other employees attempted to intervene and help the injured employee, complaining that they had been waiting in the cold and were not willing to wait any longer. Shoppers had begun assembling as early as 2100 hours the evening before. Even when police arrived and attempted to render aid to the injured man, shoppers continued to pour in, shoving and pushing the officers as they made their way into the store. Several other people incurred minor injuries, including a pregnant woman who had to be taken to the hospital. The incident may be the first case of a death occurring during Black Friday sales, according to the National Retail Federation, we are not aware of any other circumstances where a retail employee has died working on the day after Thanksgiving. On the same day, two people were fatally shot during an altercation at a Toys R Us in Palm Desert, California. 2010 During Black Friday 2010, a Madison, Wisconsin woman was arrested outside of a Toys R Us store after cutting in line, and threatening to shoot other shoppers who tried to object. A Toys for Tots volunteer in Georgia was stabbed by a shoplifter. An Indianapolis woman was arrested after causing a disturbance by arguing with other Walmart shoppers. She had been asked to leave the store, but refused. A man was arrested at a Florida Walmart on drug and weapons charges after other shoppers waiting in line for the store to open noticed he was carrying a handgun, and reported it to police. He was discovered to also be carrying two knives and a pepper spray grenade. A man in Buffalo, New York, was trampled when doors opened at a Target store and unruly shoppers rushed in, in an episode reminiscent of the deadly 2008 Walmart stampede. 2011 On Black Friday 2011, a woman at a Porter Ranch, California Walmart used pepper spray on fellow shoppers, causing minor injuries to a reported 20 people who had been waiting hours for the store to open. The incident started as people waited in line for the newly discounted Xbox 360. A witness said a woman with two children in tow became upset with the way people were pushing in line. The witness said she pulled out pepper spray and sprayed the other people in line. Another account stated, the store had brought out a crate of discounted Xbox 360s, and a crowd had formed to wait for the unwrapping, when the woman began spraying people in order to get an advantage, according to the police. In an incident outside a Walmart store in San Leandro, California, one man was wounded after being shot following Black Friday shopping at about 1.45 a.m. A 61-year-old pharmacist collapsed and was left for dead by shoppers while being trampled and passed by a stampede. He died soon after from his injuries. 2012 On Black Friday 2012, two people were shot outside a Walmart in Tallahassee, Florida, during a dispute over a parking space. 2013 On Black Friday in 2013, a person in Las Vegas who was carrying a big-screen TV home from a Target store on Thanksgiving was shot in the leg as he tried to wrestle the item back from a robber who had just stolen it from him at gunpoint. In Romeoville, Illinois, a police officer shot a suspected shoplifter driving a car that was dragging a fellow officer at a Coles department store. 
the suspect and the dragged officer were treated for shoulder injuries. Three people were arrested. In another situation, a 29-year-old shopper was arrested in a Walmart in New Jersey after arguing with a store manager about a TV and attacking an officer. He was charged with disorderly conduct, aggravated assault, and resisting arrest. 2014 inches 2014, three buyers were arrested after a group of five people started fighting at a Kohl's store in Tustin, California. Two female victims were found with facial lacerations, and one of them was taken to hospital with minor injuries, while the other was released on scene. According to officials, three other females were suspects for the assault, and were taken into custody. Two people were arrested after a brawl on Black Friday at a Northwest Side Mall in Indianapolis. In Los Angeles, two women were fighting at a Walmart in Norwalk, California, over a Barbie doll on Thanksgiving night. 2015 Several people fighting at a mall in Florence, Kentucky, allegedly over a pair of Air Jordan sneakers. This year was called the worst Black Friday brawls in history at that time due to the heavy use of smartphones that could instantly capture video. 2016 Inches 2016, 21-year-old Vermont Cotman was shot and killed around 1 o'clock Friday morning outside a Macy's store in New Jersey. The shooter fired multiple shots, leaving an SUV covered in bullet holes, but the motives remain unclear. Cotman's 26-year-old brother was also injured. A shooting at the Wolf Chase Galleria Mall in Memphis, Tennessee, left one man injured. Derek Blackburn, 19, was later arrested for unlawful possession of a weapon. In Vancouver, a shirtless man attacked several people using his belt as a whip. The incident occurred outside an Adidas store where a crowd was awaiting the release of a rare shoe. 2018. At the River Chase Galleria in Hoover, Alabama, Emantic Fitzgerald Bradford Jr. was shot and killed by a security guard after two people were wounded in a shooting. On Saturday, the police announced that the shooter was not Bradford, but he was involved in the shooting. 2019 A fight led to a shooting in the food court of the Destiny USA Mall in Syracuse, New York. The mall went into lockdown until shoppers and staff were released starting at about 8 p.m. with all shopping activity suspended. 21-year-old Kyrie Truax was arrested and charged with second-degree assault, second-degree criminal possession of a weapon, and second-degree reckless endangerment for shooting the victim twice in the leg. Chapter 5, Black Friday Online Chapter 5 Section 1, High Traffic Challenges for Retailers Some online stores invest a lot of money in promotional campaigns to generate more sales and drive traffic to their stores. However, they often forget about the high loads their sites are going to experience. According to Retail Gazette, a number of major retailers' websites went down as they failed to cope with the surge in Black Friday traffic in 2017, this just highlights that some retailers have not taken the necessary steps to prepare for Black Friday. Failing to prepare for peak can cause poor performance, site downtime, and ultimately lost revenue for retailers. Such carelessness results in huge reputational damage. Moreover, the 2017 VM Availability Report shows that unplanned downtime costs organizations around the world an average of R270M annually, up from the R210M of the previous year. Chapter 5 Section 2 – Advertising Tip Sites Some websites offer information about day after Thanksgiving specials up to a month in advance. The text listings of items and prices are usually accompanied by pictures of the actual ad circulars. These are either leaked by insiders or intentionally released by large retailers to give consumers insight, and allow them time to plan. In recent years, some retailers have claimed that the advertisements they send in advance of Black Friday and the prices included in those advertisements are copyrighted and are trade secrets. Some of these retailers have used the takedown system of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act as a means to remove the offending price listings. This policy may come from the fear that competitors will slash prices, and shoppers may comparison shop. 
The actual validity of the claim that prices form a protected work of authorship is uncertain as the prices themselves might be considered a fact in which case they would not receive the same level of protection as a copyrighted work. But the benefit of threatening internet sites with a DMCA-based lawsuit has proved tenuous at best. While some sites have complied with the requests, others have either ignored the threats or simply continued to post the information under the name of a similar-sounding fictional retailer. However, careful timing may mitigate the takedown notice. An internet service provider in 2003 brought suit against Best Buy, Coles, and Target Corporation, arguing that the takedown notice provisions of the DMCA are unconstitutional. The court dismissed the case, ruling that only the third-party posters of the advertisements, and not the ISP itself, would have standing to sue the retailers. Usage of Black Friday advertising tip sites and buying direct varies by state in the U.S., influenced in large part by differences in shipping costs and whether a state has a sales tax. However, in recent years, the convenience of online shopping has increased the number of cross-border shoppers seeking bargains from outside of the U.S., especially from Canada. Statistics Canada indicates that online cross-border shopping by Canadians has increased by about 300 m a year since 2002. The complex nature of additional fees such as taxes, duties and brokerage can make calculating the final cost of cross-border Black Friday deals difficult. Cross-border shopping solutions exist to mitigate the problem through estimation of the various cost involved. In 2019, Adobe shopping data showed that around 39% of the shopping was done through smartphones. Chapter 5 Section 3 Cyber Monday The term Cyber Monday, a neologism invented in 2005 by the National Retail Federation's division shop.org, refers to the Monday immediately following Black Friday based on a trend that retailers began to recognize in 2003 and 2004. Retailers noticed that many consumers, who were too busy to shop over the Thanksgiving weekend or did not find what they were looking for, shopped for bargains online that Monday from home or work. In 2010, Kitwise reported. Thanksgiving weekend offered a strong start, especially as Black Friday sales continued to grow in popularity. For the second consecutive year, Black Friday was the highest day for retail traffic during the holiday season, followed by Thanksgiving and Cyber Monday. The highest year-over-year -year increases in visits took place on Cyber Monday and Black Friday with growth of 16% and 13%, respectively. In 2013, Cyber Monday online sales grew by 18% over the previous year, hitting a record $1.73 billion, with an average order value of $128. In 2014, Cyber Monday was the busiest day of the year with sales exceeding $2 billion in desktop online spending, up 17% from the previous year. Chapter 5 Section 4, Cyber Week As reported in the Forbes Entrepreneur's column on December 3, 2013, Cyber Monday, the online counterpart to Black Friday, has been gaining unprecedented popularity, to the point where cyber sales are continuing on throughout the week. Peter Greenberg, travel editor for CBS News, further advises, if you want a real deal on Black Friday, stay away from the mall. Black Friday and Cyber Monday are all part of Cyber Week. Chapter 6, Retail Sales Impact The National Retail Federation releases figures on the sales for each Thanksgiving weekend. The Federation's definition of Black Friday weekend includes Thursday, Friday, Saturday and projected spending for Sunday. The survey estimates number of shoppers, not number of people. The length of the shopping season is not the same across all years, the date for Black Friday varies between November 23rd and 29th, while Christmas Eve is fixed at December 24th. 